do, am no that. longer attuned to my hat of illusions. I now have my ion stone swirling around my head of mastery, which annoying. is or not proficiency, well, which like, is amazing. It's not out. It kind of like is is close to your head. Like just, and it doesn't always like rotate around. It just. It's I'm just, just saying. Like floats. In fact, yeah. maybe. It can functionally like look like an earring or something. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I actually don't mind that idea. The, the, just the fact that yeah, yeah. he just has one ear pierced with an earring in it. Yeah. Yeah. The other earring is. But that means I have to update a lot of things. Is um, an excerpt from Drama Bug. Nice. It starts with Rebecca. Yeah. So the night passes. Obviously. Oh, I'll play some music. Uh, you, know, you play some music. Like I do. Mm -hmm. Tell some stories. Yeah, sure. Promote my new book that's coming. The out Sexy Badger soon. is all about stories. Uh, rumor or not, because they can always verify that sort of stuff. So. Do I hear any good stories that come back to me? Hmm. Give me a uh, percentile roll, serendipity roll. Oh, okay. I picked the wrong dice. Six. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, you do not. That's a little roll that roll. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like eavesdropping a little bit. Okay. Can I roll to see if I hear anything? Sure. Interest? Well, mm, yeah, okay. Just of interest. Nothing like sure. pertinent. So, percentiles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 48. No. 48. Uh, well, okay. I'm a great roll. I may hear about a good baker. You do hear a, a story about the the uh, the king and queen's adopted daughter had disappeared a long time ago. She resurfaced recently. Adopted uh, daughter has like what race? Human. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, she reappeared with her. Well, essentially, spouse. They're actually uh, planning the like wedding and everything. Uh, her name is Natalia. His name is Vlad. 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 I like Vlad. Yeah, he's a were raven. Interesting. Were raven. Like yeah. Nevermore. Hmm. Like Nevermore. No, there's at least one more, obviously. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, outside of that, there's not really a lot going on. Uh, the city guard is very efficient at maintaining order, uh, keeping the borders safe from bandits and all that kind of stuff. There's not a lot of, uh, as far as like outside of normal activity, there's not any like um, specific goblin or orc attacks of late or anything like that that's like would sound interesting night passes you all have a long rest if you took any if you have any damage and I don't think many of you do uh, then it's all healed up anyway <clears throat> and you would you would gain half half of your hit dice back if you spent any again not that that's relevant because I, I, I don't think you guys really took any damage at all. Maybe a little bit. If, but whatever damage we took, we probably healed up from the banquets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ow. All right. In the morning, when you go down for breakfast, um, there is a small contingent of the city watch that are there also having breakfast. And they're actually waiting for you to bring you to see the king and queen again. Uh, but you all have breakfast together, chit chat, etc. And then you're taken to the king and queen again. Tell them the story of our fellow adventurer who had a cock helmet. That's always an icebreaker. Uh, yeah. I already know that story. We do, they don't. He's in charge of their. I was about to say he <laughs> works he, for them. Is he still in the same town? Yeah, he buddy. works for them now. I for, oh, no, no, dude, we haven't played this in like four weeks. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember half the shit. 
I'm I'm surprised you I remember the class the now. captain of the guard in the face. That's right. Yeah. That Even was... Rand didn't want to be around Herc when he was. <laughs> I what is this? Yeah. Hang on. What? Let me check that real quick. Um. Fine. we were dealing about the kid who didn't know how to play theater. Before. Before you. So, like, normally there's the raised dais where the two throne chairs are. There's uh, seating in the area. Uh, and there's not normally really anything else in the room except for, like, the hanging tapestries and all of that. Uh, in this, on this particular day, there's no crowd in there like there normally would be. There, there's, um, in front of, or, like, where a lot of the chairs and stuff were, there is just a table like resting in front of the raised dais and on the table are a couple of different items so you see a set and like they're all uh, everybody's with you you all kind of reconvened Leas is there <coughs> etc um, on the far left you see five chests in the middle uh, in, in, in the middle section you see one chest, one kind of larger chest, and then on the far right there is um, I guess like a series of <coughs> like documents and stuff um, I kind of beckon you in so We've, we've read the book. And it tells an interesting story. One that I think will become very relevant in the days to come. It tells of an item called the Rod of Seven Parts that was used to defeat a powerful demon named Miska the Wolf Spider. So oh, that, that, that sounds M I S K A. So I used to like these Dungeons and Dragons names being all weird and shit, and then like you spell them out, and it's like, oh, that's obvious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like a Q to be in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, that really would spell this. Yeah, it would. In, in the imprisoning of said Miska, the rod shattered, which is why it's it in is seven parts. In seven parts. Now, what? this item, obviously, you have your own, the own, like your own things you're looking for. Um, these items, these pieces, are being sought out because each piece is powerful in its own right but together it can be used to command the giant armies in certain ways you know it gives abilities and the like um, I would imagine, given this document, that the giants are actively searching for this. Where, like, as far as how how they get this, how far they get, um, will depend on a few sets of adventurers, I would imagine. Are you implying that the fella in charge of the castle we spoke to the other day came here in his cloud castle to search for that those pieces of that rod so he could control the giants and keep the status quo possibly that we don't know we don't have one of those pieces so it's possible that they are that they were here looking for that um, I mean just I doubt I'll even have a good roll, but could I roll anything to see if he might be lying about that one particular statement? Insight, yeah. Yeah, 
insight. Well, that's what I was saying. Is I have zero insight. So you might, you might roll a nat twenty. I am I? Nope. Seven. I rolled a seven. Not seven. Okay. Yeah, he does not. So I have no seem, indication of yeah, anything. He does not seem yeah. to be lying in any capacity. Uh, well, with a seven, maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I have a well, six in rolling? insight. Oh, there insight. You go. If you wish to insight the king, you may. I rolled that was 13. A th- no, I don't want to do that. I rolled the same thing as him, but I had six. Yeah. So no, let's um, see. Still no indication. He, yeah, like he he doesn't seem to be lying. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, fine, I don't assume nope. he is lying, but yeah, you know, it's always good to be. But we hang out with him. Yeah. <laughs> Which this is, defense. of course, disconcerting. A couple of reasons why. We already know, because they are dragons, of course. Yeah. Uh, the dragon cultists are becoming more active. The giants are also becoming more active. If this isn't stopped in some format or another, there will be global war between the giants and the dragons and all of you in the middle all us tiny people are gonna get stomped all of you in the middle will probably not do terribly well some of you may of course depending upon what side you choose assuming it comes to that now hopefully and we will be actively working as well to stop this. We can get them to understand that to damage the status quo is to bring about the destruction, very possibly, of their own race and many others. That kind of battle, those battles will leave millions dead. But it's a little early for all that morbid business. There's a chance we might be able to stop fights like this before they even start. Yes. That is the hope, the uh, goal that we seek course. We know at least one of the giants at least wants to stay things to stay how they are. Mm-hmm. You and were the, would there be any other of your species that might want things to stay exactly how they are? Yes. Of course. The status quo maintains Peace, for the most part. Obviously, there are skirmishes. Greed is a common thing. I don't really have any like. We should talk about where you got this music really quick while you're looking at it. Sirenscape. Thank you again, Sirenscape, for the free music. Let's do. Just say. Hang on. We're doing a change. What do I want to do? Do Same here. Not because I'm tired, just because I'm like, my mind's really everywhere right now. I'm just tired. I figured I'd be the most tired one considering I've worked like 24 hours in a row at this point. I teach high school. And I work in the public. Sit down, bitch. I work with gamblers. You're gonna have no music. Gamers. Just, like, Actually, no, you have the worst one. Kind of, yeah. children. kind of white noise. Oh, not game a GameStop. That's better. Yeah. I'm still a GameStop. Oh, okay. I work with anyway. children, both young and old. Uh, mm-hmm. It does. That's better. Yeah. Let's not talk on that too much right now. What we must first deliberate on is your what's in the boxes <laughs> payment 
Now, and like facing him, like he he's a force facing you, so it's on his right, the five chests. Is that right? One, two, three, four. It would just be four, because Pickles doesn't get a chest. No. Yeah. Just four. Four chests. Well, I was not thinking you should get a chest. Well. I am unfamiliar with your new comrade. His name's Pickles. <coughs> That's all I've got. He was a this man's name is Pickles. He was kept as a pet by the storm giants that you sent us to uh, negotiate with. Helped us fight. I see. He did help us prevent the coup. Prevent the coup that let uh, Althamus leave your lands. Ah, well, thank you, Mister Pickles. And he like nods. And List of things Gerald Flamer thought he'd say while doing they, D&D. They, uh, oh, I've said all kinds of crazy shit playing D&D. <laughs> uh, no, you can't have a dick hat. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pickles. Uh, he kind of, like, reaches into his his kingly robes and pulls out a, a fifth chest. Convenient. Airy this, on the right side the inside. is the the monetary payment. The five chest. Ten thousand gold each. Although it is actually tech it's just it's one hundred platinum. Works out the same. <coughs> and it's much lighter. <coughs> the center here we'll get to the center here in a moment. On the left, on my left, your right is uh, a set of documents, of course, um, representing a favor. The, the center chest, he kind of uh, opens the lid for you, it's facing you guys. It is a, it's one of the pieces of the Pearl of Avon. And the end. Oh. Now I understand that the guild is collecting these for some specific purpose. I don't think that Kagan knows what it does, what it's for. What do you know what it's for? How about do you know what it's for? Fuck's sake, what's that? Yes, <laughs> of course. What do you know what it's for? He pulls for? out. I, said, <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it meant well. Do Included you know what it's for? in the chest, like next to the piece of the Pearl of Avon, there is a scroll tube. That is, it's got like magical runes all over it. Uh, it's very, very obviously magical. And he says, uh, this, this scroll in this tomb is for Kagan's eyes only. I warn you, because as adventurers, I'm sure you're very curious. <coughs> if anyone other than Kagan tries to open it, they will die. Why is everybody looking at me? I will leave it at that. I Just know you that one and look at you. be wary of it. And these five are our reward? Hmm? These five chests? No, we have to pick one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, obviously, that was never made. Obviously, the that was never said. Of the Pearl of Avon is worth considerably more than anything else that I could possibly offer you. I wonder if the Dragon King's a gambler. You can. You're not. Sit down, Rand. <laughs> this is out of character, <laughs> but I'm wondering. I Sit down, Dave. I could try to make a bet. No. I bet you lose. <laughs> we have protected this piece for 
century. It is possible that you can take it with you. However, the cost of wielding this, of, of gathering these pieces, is dangerously high. Yeah, Rand. It is, isn't it? What? In, wh in what way? Like in a mirror. That wasn't from the pearls. Hmm? That wasn't from the My pearls. eyes have nothing to do with pearls. Yes, it does. What does it? What did we get when we went down there? Potions. Potions. <laughs> <laughs> we did get two out of that. True. If we didn't go down there, what would have happened? True. True. And normally oh, I'd use my to eyes to try to intimidate the person I'm talking to, but this is a hundred-year-old dragon. I'm not going to be able to tempt him. Curb stomp you. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm not going to be able to intimidate it's him with which just way pure black eyes. Well, 900 years old, whatever. Yeah, probably thousands of years. You just know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. This is a dagger. But still. I have personally met with the current guildmaster on several occasions, and I have found him to be incredibly trustworthy. You, however, I have not known for very long. He vouches for you, of course. But if I give you this as a parting gift, separate from any other treasure that may be given as a part of what you've done for me, I may call on you for work that needs doing. And you will answer. Rand steps up and says, I can't, I can't speak for my colleagues, but I will agree on one condition. Which is what? No, I mean, he's asking for a favor with no limits. I'm putting one limit on it. Okay. No children get hurt. Rain's an orphan. That's his thing, is Rain cares about I would never children. ask you to harm children. Everyone's an orphan at some point. True. True. You give us that... Terrible way to think. <laughs> you, right. give, you give us that piece of the pearl, you have yourself a deal. And he holds out his hand. For my se like he said, he started off with, I can't speak for my companions. What say you? I have two questions. First is why. Why what? You don't know us. You don't know us well enough to trust us, even if Guildmaster speaks for us, even with a very, very secure deal of us coming to work for you. If we take it, why? Why are you okay sending one of the most powerful things in the entirety of this planet away? You have been quite successful in your gathering of the other pieces. I know what it does. I would like to see what it does actually come to fruition. No one has ever gathered this many pieces before. That's my second question. How do you know how many pieces we have? What happens? Give me a hint. Sit down, Rand. This is out of character. But still. <laughs> In the ancient times, I've been created Arton. He is the overarching god, of course. Many of you know the the demigods, the sub the sub gods, Eurusia, the goddess of stone, Chaldea, the goddess of death, Gaia, the god of life, etc. During some point, and this is in truth somewhat speculative. We have very strong 
reasons to believe that this will happen. Sometime during the early years, I'm just gonna let it run a little bit. The god of technology, Naut, from whom we name Technos, of course, I went missing. No one knows where or how. We believe that his being is somehow tied in to this pearl. That finding all the pieces will free him, will return him to power. You say that's like interesting it's a bad trust thing. Thing. No, no. He said he wants it to happen. Pay attention. We do want it to happen. Okay. He is a god, as we know him in lore, at any rate. He is a god of the good variety. Unlike some of the more evil ones, of course. Freeing him will help in interesting ways. We won't know that until he's fully freed, of course. But we're interested to see what happens. Let's just say that curiosity is a part of it. Ruling a kingdom for centuries gets a little tedious. With all the adventure now in the realm, a little vicariousness is exciting. You all should understand that, Mr. Bard. <coughs> Danny, you say? I just write books. Yes, but you seek the uh, the story for the adventure, the, the journey itself. Is the worthier <coughs> part. Then if you give the halfling a concession, I ask for one as well. A small one. If I choose in the future to remove myself from this life, I no longer am held bound by this contract. If I'm still with this party when you ask, I will absolutely come. Ah, if I have stepped away from the guild in this life, I do not want any part of it. I suppose that could be arranged, yes. Alright then. And I'll send you a signed copy of my next book. I look forward to it. Now, um, and then there's pickles is just like cool, whatever. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a break while ever because you're you haven't answered yet, All right? I'm assuming uh, gonna say so yes because it's yeah. his character. We're we're going to take a break and like like a you know go have a kind of smoke kind of break. And then we'll be back to continue. Later! Are you planning on asking for any kind of concession or just. Well, just you said. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> I want to stop the video before yeah. that. Hi, friends. Later! Oh, we'll be back.